Hello lovelies, it's she here from Golden Thread Tarot and I'm here to bring you another channeled message. I hope this message finds you blessed and full of abundance as always. Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird or if I sound a little stuffed up. I'm recovering from like uh, some kind of cold or something. I just didn't feel very well for the last couple of days, but I'm feeling better. So let's go ahead and pull some messages. So right away, I was getting messages about changing your lifestyle. I was also getting some messages about somebody being very judgmental of a lifestyle choice that you're making. Um, okay, so I just got the message for some of you. This could be related to like your sexuality. And so somebody could see it as like a choice that you're making to be attracted to certain people. Some of you could be dealing with people, especially right now during June of all months, of course. But so it could just kind of be it's in the air. It's out. A lot of people are talking about it. So especially if you are a person that this is this is that isn't necessarily like very like out and proud and you know and not that you're not proud if you're not out, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. You know, and if you might have certain people in your life that don't really know who you are that are being very vocal right now and very judgmental right now, like you know, oh, oh, do they have to be so blah blah blah? And, oh, they're all over the news, and suddenly everybody wants to be a supporter, and you know, yeah, 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 rainbow washing, yeah, all that stuff, right? And you might kind of be just kind of sitting there like. <laughs> you know, not going to say anything, not going to say anything because, you know, it's very obvious that you have people around you that wouldn't be very supportive if you were necessarily being exactly who you wanted to be, right? And you were out about your sexuality or about uh, your preferences or about whatever it is. So I'm sorry that you're having to deal with that, boo, okay? And I hope that you find, you know, support and you find people around you who really love you and support you for exactly who you are. Okay, so if you are dealing with that, I'm sorry about that, right? It might just be very prevalent right now in your family. There might be a lot of people talking about it because there's a lot of commercials involving, you know, the community and everything like that. So there could just be a lot of people being like, it's a lifestyle, it's a choice, you know, blah, 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 whatever. That kind of did. So if that doesn't, you know, this message can still um, relate to you if you're not talking about those specific things okay um or if that doesn't resonate for you that's just a side that's for somebody else okay um something here too like i keep getting a lot of messages of, of like about i'm hearing like boom boom like so it's like some some kind of argument or something might have popped off with somebody uh between somebody and you for some of you this could be like about a spiritual lifestyle about a specific like spiritual lifestyle or about things that you believe in so if you believe in astrology if you believe in the healing powers of crystals or reiki healing or maybe tarot and people are kind of just like do you believe in that crap blah 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 you know it's something that you really that you really genuinely believe in that really resonates with you that people are just kind of judging you about spirit is saying don't make any compromises about who you are to satisfy other people because at the end of the day those other people aren't living your life they aren't making your choices and they're not going to have to deal with your pain or your shame or your guilt or whatever it is that you'll feel about about compromising who you really are to appease other people it's never going to lead you down a road of happiness and it's never going to lead you down a road it might be it you're trading long-term happiness for short-term peace and understand that for a lot of you, your spirit guides are pushing you to do what you need to do to be happy, right? Um, this is about you. So this could definitely, with the Six of Cups in reverse growing up, this could definitely be about, the Six of Cups in reverse is about things coming to their natural cycle, uh, the not, cycles coming to their natural end, excuse me. You know, it's the end of this situation. It could be the end of certain like friendship groups or certain relationships for you, or just end of cycles of just compromising who you are to appease other people. You know, uh, allow yourself to be who you need to be in this world, right? Allow yourself to live the life that's going to make you happy and forget making everybody else happy, right? Eight of swords, be on guard. Some people might make you feel like very eight of swords in this moment right now. Emperor in reverse. This could be about a very controlling masculine energy or a father figure in your life and empress. So some of you might have a very domineering or very like controlling um, masculine energy or father figure, okay, or boss, or I don't know, somebody that's just really wants to control how you live, right? Um, you could have like a more accepting mother energy in your life and a father energy that's either that could, yeah, that's just it's giving me that, it's giving me that kind of energy there. I also am getting that it's really, it's really 
a lot it, it's kind of reminded me of like toxic masculinity or like toxic it's just like shadow emperor energy which is taught which is shadow masculine energy is really like a bound right now in the energy so you might have a lot of you know i don't know just a lot of men in your life in general or whoever in your life tends to reside in their masculine energy just being kind of like very angry or just kind of very judgmental or just very kind of just like mm, 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 all that you know kind of right now and they're just kind of like it's a choice not you know i don't know i'm kind of i'm getting something along that sensitivity yeah you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now honor yourself and honor your feelings hello Spirit's talking to you. You listening? Honor yourself and honor your feelings. Honor who you really are and honor how you really feel about the situation, you know? And I feel like right now you have some people in your life that are very much so trying to kind of like, like squish down your emotions because they can't handle them. Or it's like, oh, I can't handle the, the truth about who you are. So, you know, I'd rather... I'd rather you pretend to be somebody else. Or it's e isn't it easier for me if you just lie or if you just don't say who you really are? Oh, it would be so much easier. You could have a, a feminine energy like our mom energy or something like that coming to you just being like, your father just can't handle the truth about who you are. It would just hurt him or he would have a heart attack or, you know, I don't know. He'd just be so embarrassed by the community. And it's like, well, I am who I am. Like, I, I really, I don't care. At this point in my life, like, I don't care. I want to just be able to be who I want to be. I want to be able to do what I want to do. And it's like, how long, how many years of my life am I supposed to live like a half life or a life pretending who I am to appease another person? You know, it's like, how is it, you know, your whole life kind of, you know, shining down who you are or repressing who you are has been an act of quote unquote love for you or other people have made you feel like if you love us, you'll hide who this is. If you love, or even if this is not like direct energy and it's more along the lines of you can tell that if you really were who you were, your parents or your family or your community or, you know, people that are more traditional, like they wouldn't accept you could tell. It's like my parents would be so embarrassed if they knew that I did this or I did that or if I love this person or if I did, you know, this. Um, and it's kind of like, it's been kind of this labor of love for you where it's like, I respect my parents or I respect my community or I respect my religion or I respect my traditions of my culture. So I don't want to just be like out in their face about it. Right. But it's like, how long of my life am I supposed to stay unhappy to make everybody else feel less comfortable? Like, you know, it's like people want you to trade off being uncomfortable and living a false version of yourself so that they're more comfortable with not having to face the facts of who you really are. And that's not really love, you know? Um, and I feel like you're kind of really, you're really understanding this. And this is kind of coming up to the, to the front for you. And you're just kind of like, hmm. You know, creative writing for some of you could be really being called to journal or to write about it. For some of you, you could want to write a book or write a biography about your life or about struggles that, about overcoming or becoming who you truly are. Um, or some of you are saying like some of you are, feel like you have nobody to get the secret off your chest to or whoever like spirit is saying, you know, write letters, write a journal, even if you feel like you have to just write it out and then like burn it or destroy it or keep it somewhere else, not in your house or something like that. So I'm getting kind of a vibes for some of you that some of you might still live at your parents' house or you might be under under age or something like that. Okay, so just be careful. Um, also, you know, uh, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or a book. Yeah. Again, healthy lifestyles on the back of the deck. Eat a, uh, eat, a, eat, a, eat a healthy diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. Some of you have been putting off your health or putting off self-care or putting off a lot of like really basic self-care because you're really, because you, maybe you're feeling depressed or maybe you're feeling oppressed or maybe you just have been like so kind of sad or so kind of, oh, well, I need to focus on this, I need to focus on that. So you haven't been optimally like taking care of your body, of yourself. Maybe even for some of you, you've been feeling like, kind of without you really realizing it you've been rejecting your body because I don't know maybe your body is sick or maybe your body caused you a lot of trouble or maybe you have body dysmorphia or body image or body image issues or something like that or just you're just like why can't I just be normal why can't I love why can't I you know 
you know, why do I have to be gay? Or why do I have to be spiritual? Or why do I have to have these things? Why do I have to hear spirits? Why do I have to be a medium? Why do I have to go through this? Can't I just be normal? Because my life would be so much easier if I just didn't have to deal with this, this thing, you know, this thing about me that's different, that's unique, that's beautiful, you know, and you, and spirit is really wanting you to reframe, you know, reframe the fact that there have been a lot of people in your life that have rejected you because of this thing and it's made you internalize that rejection and you have rejected your body and you haven't been taking care of yourself, mind, body, spirit, soul, the way that you should have because, or your, and your inner child as well, because you have this internalized rejection of who you are as a person and spirit is saying, F that, be who you are, love yourself, love your body, take care of you, be happy and make the moves that you have to make to get yourself into a space where you can feel more accepted. Find a community for yourself, right? <laughs> and I don't, especially if you're underage, I don't endorse like lying to your family or anything like that. But I see somebody saying like, oh, mom, dad, I have like study hall or I have this. And then you're actually going to like a self-help group or you're going to hang out with a community of people of like-minded individuals or I don't, you know, for some of you, you might be, you know, it's like, oh, mom, I have study hall or I have this or I have that. And you're actually like going to do drag or you're going to do. Um... <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, la I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at the imagery that I just saw. I don't know if some of you know about uh, Trixie Mattel and Katya. <laughs> and I just saw <laughs> Trixie, Trixie Mattel, I just saw Katya. Okay, I just saw Katya go, you know, something gay. <laughs> something gay. I don't know. <laughs> I love that. You know, so I'm so sorry if you have felt like you can't truly be who you are. But spirit is encouraging you that whatever it is, and it doesn't have to be about that. Please don't let it throw you off. If that's not your thing, if that's not who you are, if you're heterosexual, this message can still apply to you. This can just be about you allowing yourself to love what you love right? To like what you like, to love what you love. This could be about, you know, finding that group of people to go hang out with, finding that community, go out there, you know, read about it, find groups, find people to connect to that really understand you, that really understand what you're going through and, you know, can really help you to find your way into the community, find your spot, find your people, find your tribe, you know? Spirit is really encouraging you to not feel to, to not feel so scared to really express who you really are. Of course, you know, if some of you feel like you're physically in danger, you know, because of the country that you live in or the culture that you're in or just where you are, please be safe out there, okay? Um, but there there is this or, you know, it's like get out. <laughs> get out. Which I know that's easier to say. That's easier said than done, but leave. If it's really, if it's really that like where it's really that dangerous, leave, leave, cut ties, cut ties with your family, cut ties with people. If that's what you need to do and go, go somewhere that you can really be who you really are, the where you can be loved and accepted for who you are. You are completely underestimating how amazing it will feel to be able to be who you are. Well, that's heavy. <laughs> prosperity okay your material needs are 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 provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality so, so for some of you are like it's a money issue i heard i heard y'all saying that but prosperity um when you decide to really nurture yourself nurture <laughs> okay as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for your for you right now so yeah so some of you are nurturing like a child in your family or someone around you some of you could be pregnant right now especially with this empress energy okay so if somebody is is getting you know some of you might be having issues with the father of your child right now or being in kind of like very controlling relationships please get out please get out especially if this person is like a very like materialistic person okay or if this person is very just like oh some of y'all are dealing with some really nasty masculine energies i'm so sorry um crystal clear intentions be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith exactly if you want to be free focus on being free and dedicate yourself and your choices and your actions to gaining your freedom under the situation okay clear sentience Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Exactly. So you've just been feeling trapped. You've been feeling suffocated. You've been feeling like 
emotionally like you're being you know you feel so uncomfortable even talking about this in the family this discomfort is you know you've been feeling discomfort in your body and tension in your mind and your body might be getting headaches all of this is to show all of this is your body physically picking up the fact that you are at a place right now that is not for you you're around energies that are not for you. You're around. You're in a job that's not for you. You're in a community that's not for you. Get out. Get out and gain your freedom. Gentleness is on the back of the deck. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. Like, period. Like, come on now. Spirit said what they said what they said. You need to get out of this harsh environment, out of this judgmental environment, and get away towards like-minded individuals and people who support you and love you. Even if they don't necessarily believe exactly who you are, they believe in you, you know, and they trust in you. And there are people out there, there are communities out there of people who will love you, who will support you, and who will be there for you, you know? So get out. Get the help that you need. Call a 1-800 number. Get the help that you need, please. Okay? Ace of Cups in reverse rejection and Two of Wands looking forward. Yeah, some of you just, you just... You feel overwhelming rejection in your heart because you're like, why can't my family, why can't this person, why can't whoever this is, why can't they accept me and love me for who I am? Why can't they just treat me? Why do they have to treat me this way? Or, you know, oh, I'm having a baby with this person, but they're acting like this. Why? Because they're not the person for you, right? And it could really be hurting your heart right now and, and could be really... It could be really hurting your heart, you know, that people that you love or that you really care about or that you've sacrificed so much of your life for just at the end of the day, they don't accept you. and They don't love you for who you are. And that's really fucking hard to deal with. Right. That's really hard to face. And that's really hard to deal with. But spirit is saying that it is time that you need to understand that life. you don't. Un it's like I, you do. But spirit is like on the other side of this, when you actually get out and you're because you're telling yourself right now, oh, it'll be so hard to be by myself. or to, And yeah, it will. But the emotional weight of being loved, being accepted, being able to be free and be who you truly are and live the life that you truly want to live, it will make it so much more unbelievably easy than you think, right? Because at least at the end of the day, you'll be happy, right? You might be working hard. You might be working two or three jobs. You might be exhausted physically, but emotionally, right? And for some of you, these people are are, you know, physically putting their hands on you and things like that, right? The amount of safety that you will feel and knowing that you don't, just the, just the ease of knowing that you can go to work, but when you come home, you are safe and you are taken care of and you are in an environment where you can be yourself, you know? And you do not ever underestimate how amazing it feels to come home to a safe place. And you might have gotten so numb to it. You might have gotten so numb to how it feels to be in an environment like that. You know, and Spirit is saying, it's 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 enough of this because it's stopping you from blooming. It's stopping you from living the life that you truly want to live. And, you know, your life is worth it. Your happiness is worth it. Your future is worth it. I promise you, even if you have children, teaching your children to choose themselves, to choose their happiness to choose something that's safer for them, something that they know that they should choose will be the best, will be one of the best lessons that you ever teach them in their life. Because there's way too many times, especially with our parents, our parents expect us to, you know, expect us to hide who we really are, to be somebody different, to appease them or so that they can live vicariously through us. It's not, mm -mm. That time of your life is over, Spirit is saying. It's, it's done so. Time with that. Spirit says, yeah. King of Wands, determined and successful. Come on now. Fight for your life. Fight for this life that you want to live. Fight for your future. Two of Cups in reverse, just too different to work. It's not going to work between you and these people. And it's time just to accept that and to understand that. It's not going to, it's just different. It's just different now. Things have changed. Ooh. The devil in reverse. For some of y'all, this was just like a lust situation. These people just just lust after you, your energy, having you there. For some of you, these people lust after, you know, just having somebody to bully or somebody to, to talk down to, somebody to tear down that makes them feel better, you know, because they're controlling. 
because they have their own insecurities because they're sad and miserable about their choices and their compromises. So they want you to compromise too. Exactly. Take control and take action. Take back your power. Ace of Swords. Take back your power. Take action. Take control of the situation here. Stand up and fight for what you want. Stand up and fight for your future. And, I don't, and for a lot of you, I don't mean actually physically fight. Like for a lot of you, I mean get just get the hell out. And for and for some of you with this ten of swords in reverse, it might could or yeah, it could might work maybe. For some of you, these people keep stabbing you in the back, and then you keep allowing them to come back around, or you keep allow, or you keep listening to their lies. Of, oh, I'm so sorry, I'll never do it again, or I'll never act like that again, or you, you know, I punish you, or I'm rude like this because I just love you, I just want you to succeed, or I don't want you to burn eternally in hell, or whatever the fuck it is, whatever lies these people tell themselves to excuse their abuse, because that's what this is. <laughs> oh, oh, exposure. Let's talk about it. These people are being exposed, right? Their masks are falling off. You're seeing these people for who they for who they are. So whatever kind of love or whatever kind of whatever it was that you were telling yourself about these people that were stopping you from really seeing them and and letting them really be who they truly are, you know, that's over. <laughs> unfocused attempts. So in the past, we're just kind of calling you out a little bit and saying like you have these unfocused attempts where that you weren't like, excuse me, truly. I don't want to say truly trying, but it's like spirit is like, yo, yeah. spirit says that you felt really weighed down, but things are about to be balanced out with the six of pentacles. These people coming out and their truth being exposed to you is actually balancing out this exposure that things just aren't going to work between you and this person or you and these people is really your, your key to freedom. It's, it's your, it's your moment of being like, wow. No matter how much I compromise myself or how much I hide myself or how much I pretend, it's never going to be enough for you. So why am I doing it? Why am I doing it? I'm chasing after some kind of acceptance from you that I'm never going to get. Or how come I'm chasing after acceptance when acceptance means compromising and hiding and lying about who I really am and what I really, who I really love or what I really want to be or what direction I really want to go in? That's not true acceptance. Why am I fighting to stay locked in a prison? I'm fighting to stay locked into servitude. Or I'm, I'm, I'm fighting to stay locked into a lie. I'm fighting to hold on to my mask. I'm fighting because it's what I know. But it's a prison. It's, it's you know, you're fighting to stay in an illusion. Because even, you know, because whatever love and acceptance that you get from them, it's not real. It's not real love and it's not real acceptance because they're not really loving and accepting the real you. Which is why it'll never feel like it's enough because your spirit knows that the only acceptance that you're getting is from is from your mask, from your lies. Like it will never feel real. It will never feel like real love. It'll never feel like real truth because these people don't know the real you. They don't love the real you. And they never will. You better come on now. You better bring yourself justice. You better balance this shit out and take control of your life and stand up for yourself. You better stop playing these games. You better stop sleeping on yourself. Because this balancing act that you're doing here, this pretending is not is not gonna last. You're gonna falter. I'm just, I'm just being honest with you. You're going to, you're going to falter. Like something's going to come out. Like spirit is letting you know that if you keep living this lie, they're going to expose you. And for some of you, they might've already exposed you. And then you're like, why God? Like now I'm just getting all this hate and all this everything. And no, you know, and everybody's all mad at me because of who I truly am. And you're being pushed into this place so that spirit can show you the truth of who really, who, who the people really are around you. And it doesn't matter how much you sacrifice for them or how much you give to them or how much you're there for them or how much you support them. They're still acting this way, aren't they? And that means that they're not right for you. They're not the right people for you. They're not going to take care of you. They're not going to be there for you. And you need to accept that as painful as it is, 
But when you accept that and when you release these people and when you let go of them or this person or whoever it is, it's really coming off to me as people. It's like people, family members, lovers, friends, whoever they are, right? When you cut this energy off and you move on, you open up space in your life for people who truly do love and accept you and see you for who you are. And yeah, it's going to hurt. Yeah, it's going to hurt. But... Spirit's going to lift you right back up. Judgment. I'm telling you, judgment energy is being called on, on this, on these masks, on this fakeness, on your fakeness and on the fakeness of people in your life. We. The truth is coming out, man. Seven of wands. <sighs> yeah. I know how to win because I failed before. So you have endured this rejection because it, in the end, it's going to teach you how to love yourself more. It's going to teach you how to rise above it. In the end, it's going to teach you how to, how to see your value and to understand that and to understand the value of having people in your life that truly see you love you accept you for who you are don't you will never underestimate that again and to understand that you know chasing after people who just choose not to understand you choose not to see you choose to misinterpret you choose to make you something else it's like you're my family you've known me you don't you don't love me anymore because of this you know I've been taking care of you or I've been there for you or I've worked three jobs to help pay bills in this house for all this time and this one thing happens and suddenly you, I'm not your child anymore. You disown me. You don't want me. You don't care about me anymore. That reflects so much more on that person and the hate that they have and the misunderstanding and the that they have in their heart, the person that they truly are. That does not reflect on you and your worthiness. Because the truth of the matter is, if that's how that person really feels, if that's they don't deserve your love. They want to act like you're not good enough for their love. It's the other way around. They're fucking confused. They don't deserve your love. And they don't deserve a chance to love you if that's how they really feel. Because they want to love a fake version of you. Fuck that. I don't have time for that kind of bullshit. Seven of Cups, Clouded Judgment. These people have clouded judgment for some for some of y'all. For some of y'all, these people are living in glass houses th throwing stones. Y'all need to know that. Because you want to be like, you want to disown me because you... I <laughs> okay, I literally just heard somebody... Somebody's going off. Somebody's like, you want to disown me because I suck dick? You want to disown me because I suck dick? But my brother who's on drugs... Or you, you who who cheats on mom, or you who's having a baby out of wedlock, you who's cheating with your brother-in-law, this bullshit, all y'all doing this bullshit, and y'all want to judge me because I suck dick? Fuck y'all. <laughs> you better tell them, baby. Okay? You better tell them, baby. You damn sure better. Like, hell no. Y'all ain't no better than me. I don't know what the fuck you think this is. 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay. Seven of Pentacles or Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I gambled and I lost. And Seven of Swords. Be on guard. You know, some of y'all y'all want to say this shit. Just walk off. I don't know. For some of y'all, maybe y'all need to tell these people about themselves. I don't know. Maybe it's gonna give you closure, or just just that. You know, just being like, first off, <laughs> let he who is that who is without sin cast the first stone. That's what I want to say. While y'all want to quote Bible verses at people. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You want to be mad at me because of what I put in my mouth? Get out of here. <laughs> where I take what where is none of your fucking business. But if you want to talk so personally, let's talk about you cheating on your wife. Let's talk about you stealing money from from uh, you know from from your job. Let's talk about the pastor cheating on his wife and having a baby outside of wedlock. Let's really talk about it, okay? Because y'all want to judge me because of what I stick what where, okay? Which is none of your fucking business. All right? Somebody's spicy. I love it. But y'all don't want to talk about all y'all sin. How is my sin any, how is my sin any less or any worse? It's not. So whatever you're doing, 
you know, if you're burning candles, if you're praying to gods or goddesses, if you're playing with tarot cards, you know, if you're believing in crystals, if you're studying astrology, it is, there's nothing wrong with any of that shit. Or if you are sucking dick in your man, there's nothing wrong with that. Do what you do. Okay? Because all those people that want to judge you, they got their own problems. They got their own shit going on in their life. And they got their own mistakes and their own choices that they're making. They, they want to sit there and judge you on yours for what? It's none of your fucking business. How about I don't tell you... <laughs> How about you don't tell me how to live my life and I don't tell you how to be a dumb bitch? How about that? <laughs> you know, how about you don't tell me how to live my life and I won't tell you how to live yours? How about you mind your business and I'll mind my, mine over here? How about that? <laughs> Let's talk about it. Okay? If you really want to talk about it. <laughs> Because somebody here is like, I know everybody's tea. I know everybody's tea. And I know that if you want to sit here and judge me, I know that all of y'all are doing things that the Bible or whatever religious text that you're quoting. Okay. Y'all are sinning every day. So my sin's not any different. You know, so whether or not you need to say that or whether or not you just need to let that just sink into your head and be like, damn, you know what? You know what? Why the hell am I fighting for acceptance of these people? Because they're not even following their own rules. Because people like this, they don't follow their own rules. They want to set rules for everybody else and then think they're above the rules. They want to judge everybody else but don't say anything about them and their mistakes. Don't say anything about them and their adulteries. I, 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 that is somebody's line right there. Somebody is like, oh, you want to say something about me but you've been cheating on mom for the past 30 years? Fuck you. You have a whole other family outside of us. And you think, you think I'm bringing shame on the family by sucking dick? Get out of here. Get out of here. You bring shame on yourself. You bring shame on yourself by being blessed with a child by the Lord and then disowning that child and not taking care of them and throwing them out on the street. You bring dishonor to yourself. Point blank period. Point blank period. So, and that's how it is. And that's the tea. Okay? So that, that's what somebody needs to know. Somebody needs to know that these people that want to judge you for what? For what? Do you know what these people are doing behind closed doors? You know who they are, you know? So you know the hypocrisy of it. There's no point going back and forth with these people because they don't want to admit their hypocrisy. If they were so righteous, or if they were so right, or if they were so upstanding people, okay, they wouldn't be doing all the choices that they're making. You want to talk about me? Let's talk about you cheating on your husband. How about that? Let alone who you're cheating on your husband with. I don't want to say it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> hmm? Don't talk about me. Don't talk about me and don't talk about my actions. I'm just over here living my life. And I feel like that's how y'all feel. Y'all literally just like, okay, anyway. Anyway, if I have to cut these people off and walk away because it's just, I, it just the sacrificing and the cutting away pieces of myself and hiding pieces of myself, it's just not worth it. Okay? Oh, Y'all, some of y'all, I just heard that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm like, me personally, I'm not really into like Christian music, but I just heard that My God is an Awesome God song. So, yeah. Some of y'all are just like, God made me this way and he loves me for who I am. Y'all want to, if y'all want to live some judgmental form of whoever, y'all want to believe in a, in a, in a judgmental, mean, evil God. That ain't God you're talking about, right? It ain't God that's telling you to, to cut down people. It ain't God that's telling you to go off on people. That. Okay, so I want to share this story. I work at a retail facility, okay? And at the place that I work, we sell, like, plants. We sell more than that, but it's one of the places we sell is plants, right? So a plant that we sold, that we have been selling for the past, like, for, like, the whole, not the whole, it just came in probably, like, a couple of, like, a month ago or so, but it's in a rainbow pot. Okay, it's in a rainbow pot. And this lady came in and was like, I want to talk to a store manager. <laughs> and she was like, y'all should be y'all should be ashamed of yourself. So, y'all should be ashamed of yourself. I shouldn't have to see this rainbow shit. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, yo, first off, you're not the only one that's out there in the world, okay? 
Our organization serves the whole community, not just you. And there are a lot of people out there, okay? Also, sometimes a rainbow is just a fucking rainbow, right? Kids like rainbows. People's like People like rainbows. It's just out there, okay? Sometimes it's not always about pride, right? But also, you know, it, it's just like, shut the fuck up. So you, ha- okay, so you want to take away all representation? Okay, okay. So let's say that, let's say that no stores are allowed to sell anything that has a cross on it anymore. If we're going to take away some people's rep- rep- representation, let's take away all representation so that nobody's triggered. You can't do that. Why? You want to erase everybody else? Let's erase you too. Fine. You want to take away you want to take away some people's representation? We'll take away yours too. How about that? And then nobody can be triggered by anything. Or maybe you can just mind your own fucking business. How about that? And how is going off on some retail worker gonna change anything? Some some person that's just working at a customer service counter okay, has nothing to do with what a company decided to market and sell. How about that? Okay, so all y'all, because just imagine, just imagine, right, if, if everybody was just like, okay, well, you don't want us to sell anything with rainbows on it, or you don't want us to sell anything with this on it, cool, we won't sell anything with crosses on it, or with the Bible, or with quotes about Jesus, nothing. And then, you know, people who are not Christians won't be triggered. Not that Christians are the only ones that get triggered by rainbows in the community and things like that, right? But let's talk about it. We'll just take away everyone's representation and then nobody can be triggered by anybody else. Oh, that's right. We can't do that, (laughs) right? We'll just take away Santa Claus. We'll take away Christmas trees. We'll take away all this stuff. Nobody can sell any of those things anymore. How about that? How about that? No. Okay. So. No, I get it. We're all, you know, entitled to our own opinions and yada, yada, yada. But that doesn't mean that your and that your opinion gives you the entitlement to take away other people's rights and other people's freedom of expression. Okay. You don't agree with it. You don't have to agree with it. Just don't buy the pot. Or don't buy the, you know, don't buy whatever it is, right? Don't buy it for your kid if you're mad about it, right? But there are some people who ha- who are in the community or who have gay or lesbian parents. And if they want to wear a rainbow and they want to put a rainbow on their child, it's none of your fucking business, okay? Raise your children the way that you want to raise your children. But this whole, like... I shouldn't have to see it. I shouldn't have to look at it. I sh- it shouldn't even be in front of my face because it triggers me because I don't agree with it. Who's the fucking snowflake? That's what I want to know. Who's the actual real, who's so sensitive that they can't even see a rainbow without being triggered? You know what I'm saying? Like, get over yourself. <laughs> get over yourself. Oh, nor I know that normally I don't get any kind of political statements or anything like that on this channel, but I am going to firmly say that. I said what I said. If you don't agree with it, that's cool. You can get the fuck off my channel, right? Or if you still want to be here on my channel and we can agree to agree, disagree, I'm fine with that too, right? But if you have a really serious problem with it, you know, this is my channel. I'll talk about what I want to talk about. I'll have the opinion that I want to have. And if you got issues with it, there are billions of other channels out there take a fucking walk okay well wow i just got really spicy <laughs> i don't know i think it was just because like my mama g side came out and i was just like defending the sweet baby because i'm just like these people whoever you are you don't deserve to be talked to like that you don't deserve to be you know to be made to not be allowed to be who you are and like I said at the end of the day if this doesn't apply you know if I feel like a lot of us okay out here especially those are out here in the spiritual community and stuff like that even if you're straight even if you don't believe in the whole agenda you know blah blah you want to call an agenda or whatever it is right you can understand what it feels like to not be accepted for who you are you can understand what it is for people to use certain things against you right you could understand what it feels like for certain people to be like, what you're doing is wrong and you're going to end up in hell for it. 
you can understand exactly, you can empathize with other people and understand exactly what the energy of this is. And whoever you are, regardless of what you believe in, if you have been being asked, if you have been asked, excuse me, to compromise who you are, just let these people in your life know you don't have time for it. Life is too short. Life is too short to live for anybody else. It's too short, you know, because what are you going to do? For some of you out there, it's like, these are my parents. What am I going to, yeah, what are you going to do? Are you going to wait until your, until your, until your parents pass and then live a free life? What are you going to do? Wait until you're in your fifties or sixties to be free and to live your life for who, who you want to live? No, baby. No, baby. Live who you need to be, who you need to be. If you need to get out of your community, get out of your community. If you need to move away, move away. There are people out there who will love you and accept you for exactly who you are. Don't ever underestimate how amazing it will feel once you make these decisions to be there for yourself. Because believe me, these people that are in your life are making their own, they're making their own selfish decisions, right? These decisions that they are asking you to compromise who you are is selfish, it's self-serving, it's selfish, it's self-centered. They don't give a fuck about you and how you feel about things. So if a selfish person wants you to call you selfish, who, who gives a fuck? You think, oh, okay, well, uh, oh no, you think I'm a bad person? You think I'm a sinner? You too. You think I'm selfish? You too. I don't care. I would rather be choosing myself in a healthy way and be able to live the life that I want to live and live the, the, you know, live, have the freedom that I need. Who cares? It's just manipulation. That's it. And you've been allowing yourself to be manipulated, emotionally manipulated by these people for far too long. And that's just the honest truth of it, my babes. Okay? I love you. Okay? Do what you gotta do. Okay? Be there for yourself. Stand up for yourself. You know? And again, at the end of the day, I don't have the intentions to offend anybody, especially because I understand there are people out there in this virtual community who have very traditional beliefs. I get that. But like I said... Even being out there in the spiritual community, if you're out here listening to tarot and doing things, I'm sure that you understand what it's like to believe in certain things that other people think are wrong, right? And to, and to be like, there's nothing wrong with it, you know? And uh, to understand that there is a section in your community or there are people out there who love you, right? Who accept you and who love you. And at the end of the day, you know, uh, your life is worth living being surrounded by people who love you and accept you for who you are and not who ask you to live in a lie, right? And you should love yourself more than to live in a lie as well, okay? Thank you guys so very much for being here with me today. I'm feeling spicy. <laughs> I'm feeling so spicy today. Love that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's because of all the energy. I've just been sleeping for days on end because I've just been so tired, but I'm feeling spicy today, so... Thank you guys so very much for all your love, for all your acceptance, for being here, for your view. If you like the content, give it a like, okay? Um, let me know if this resonates for you in the comment section down below. As always, okay, if you post hate comments down below, I will erase them, okay? And I will block you from my channel too, so don't test me on that, all right? But other than that, if you want to have a really lovely, nice, you know, understanding discussion down below, that's up. That's what's up. Hello. You are welcome to have that. Okay. If you're interested in getting a personal reading from me, let me know. My contact information is listed down below. Okay. Thank you, as always, to your spirit guides for guiding you here to receive this message. I hope that it gave you the love, light, and clarity that you needed. All right. Thank you to my spirit guides, as always, as well, who are feeling particularly spicy today. Love you guys. Okay. <laughs> and I will see you lovelies in the next one. Okay. Bye.